This used to be my grandfather's wallet. Now, I never met my grandfather. My grandmother gave this to me when I was very young. My grandfather was a military man, and he passed away just before I was born. It was actually named after my grandfather. His name was George as well. And both my grandmother and my own mom used to tell me how much I looked just like him. Now, this isn't what he carried in his wallet. This is what I carried in his wallet almost on the daily when I was younger, just because I think this is the sort of thing he might have carried. And I'd like to think is also the sort of thing he would have uh, shown me given the opportunity. Now, here's the idea. You line up all four holes, the two holes in the car, the two holes in the bill, and you lock everything in place with a toothpick. And watch, this is where things get weird. Now, you think that that toothpick couldn't possibly be ripping through that bill given the minimal pressure that we're applying. And you'd be right, it isn't. It's just gliding between time and space. And of course, you can stop it in place, take the toothpick out, and see that everything is exactly where it was left prior. There is no rips in that bill, none whatsoever. There's no rips in that card, of course, besides the holes that we left there originally. And I would carry this with me just as a daily reminder that there are impossible seeming things almost everywhere we look. And most of them, and this is no exception, have a very simple explanation. Sometimes there's a more complex explanation as well. That's good enough for me. And sometimes we just don't have the explanation yet. And yet none of those things are any less magical at all. I'm just curious, what did your grandparents keep in their wallet? And smash some buttons while you're here, because that's why we're here after all.